Well, well, well. Thought you could outsmart me, little human? <laughs> What's wrong? Did you tire yourself out? You should have saved yourself the trouble and just lied down. I can't fault you for running, though. Plus, it was fun to chase you down. But I think that you'll find our game is over. And now, it's time for me to feast. Human? I thought you would still have a little fight in you. Hmm. You're warm for a human. <sighs> no. I don't think I can feast yet. You're a little bit... overcooked. Covered in sweat. Panting like a dog, heart beating like a thunder in a storm. If I feasted now, it wouldn't be good for you. You need to be cooled off a little. Let's get you some water. What am I doing? I'm making sure that you don't die of dehydration or heat stroke mid-mating session. Eat you? What? I thought humans liked wordplay. You know, I'm a big scary monster girl and I'm hungry for your meat. Seriously? Nothing? I know your monarchs and zealots kind of keep the whole monster thing under wraps because they would run out of men if they all decided that monster girls were better, but I thought the infamy of my kind was kind of an exception. I mean... The look in your eyes when I lifted the tree clearly suggested that you knew what you were looking at. Hellhound? The insatiable monster? Nymphomaniac? Pelvis pulverizer? You'll learn soon enough. The water here is safe. The farther you get from civilization, the more monster-controlled areas there are. This region is generally controlled by dryads and nymphs who rely on pure water. Here. Drink. Good boy. Don't drink too fast. I thought you were doing better than most people. Then again, most of my kind conclude their hunts far faster than a human can normally tire. I was just having fun chasing you. So, I let you go for as long as you did. Are you starting to feel better? Good. Just relax for a little. I'll wait for you to get some strength back. Well, I think I made my intentions perfectly clear. I caught you. You're mine now. Hey, don't be worried. I'll take good care of you. You're just a little human. You couldn't outrun or outmaneuver me. If anything, this is good for you. Now you have a big, scary hellhound to protect and care for you. In return, all I ask for is your love, affection, and children. Just relax, all right? Look at your shudder. <laughs> you taste great.
Good boy. Does my warm tongue feel nice against your skin? I hope you feel as good as you taste. <laughs> You're all mine. First, I'm going to pin you down and lick you all over. Turn you into a squirming mess. Maybe I'll lose control of myself before that happens. Maybe I'll tear your clothes off and force you down. After all, I'm so much stronger than you. I'll hold you down with one hand and you'll look at me with fear and arousal. And when I finally have you inside of me, I'll completely lose control. I'll milk so many loads out of you. By the end of it, you'll be a whimpering mess. And I'll hold you in my arms. I'll hold you tightly and never let you go. I'll love you forever. You're going to be my human. No one else can have you. No one else can touch you. And no one will ever dream of harming you. If anyone dares to harm you, then I'll kill them. I don't care who they are, what they can do, or what consequences their death will have. No one will ever hurt you and get away with it. That's what it means to be my mate. You are my mate for life. And I will do everything in my power to ensure that that is a long, long time. Do you understand me? Your body, your soul, your life are mine to protect. Your lips taste amazing. I can't take it anymore. The fire inside of me burns brighter than ever before. I have to have you. I have to. I love the way you look under me. So small. So adorable. I had a taste, but now it's time to dig in. <laughs>